For it all. What is this, a joke? You trying to pawn crap off on us? I've had enough of this. Both of you get your hands up. Now! Hey, fella. at a low point. Real low. And, uh... <laughs> I... I tried to rob him. I mean, I, I was... I was just out of the army. And I, I was drinking like a fish. And, uh, I, I... I was still sticking up folk on the highway, just, uh... out west of the mountains. And, and, and Dutch got one look at me. I was just, I was just drunk and I was angry. <laughs> and, and he, he just burst out laughing. <laughs> and I was so mad, I swear I could have put a slug in him. But he, uh, he sheared me up, and, uh, and he gave me purpose. And now I sense some of you fools are doubting him. 
And that makes me so angry. Because he saved me. He saved Bill Williamson. And he can do it again. So for all you sons of bitches, you fools that are doubting him, go. Leave, just run away, just get the hell out of here. But you know what? I know you won't. None of you will. How are you doing? Because you're all the same. You're just you're like me. So you just, you have faith. We, we've all got to have faith. Because this, this is Dutch Vanderland that we're talking about here. This is this Dutch Vanderland. You tell him, Bill. Somebody's about him. For sure. How are things? Anyway, I won't disturb you. <sighs> okay. I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Okay. All right, well, I should be getting on. Thanks. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. So, Uncle? Don't say it. I know I messed up. Just do more groundwork next time. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. Sleep here. Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. Just go to bed, Arthur. Oh, if I had a bow, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be a little bit ill. <sighs> you all right? Uh, better out than in. Just take it easy, okay? Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Nah, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, 
Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way. On me. Ciao. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys... Got a manner about him. But I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't know. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's out west is out west. And you're all who you are, right. decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> Okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah. Feels like a close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. 
Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. Just talking about something? I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Come on now, hear that? boy. Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I've... the other side. You get it over there. What you see through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? They got men covering the house. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Prepare for your guns and your money. Give them up. I thought we were trying to
Sounds like a plan. Let's start seeing wagons, okay? You got anything? Not yet. Hey, this could be promising. What do you got? Search him. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. It. Yeah. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black... Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know... Tom's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. There's no better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Enough but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. You notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
Yeah. Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if I'm serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor. Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? 
Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can. Head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Whoa, whoa, wait. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. Behind you. So, so, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, Kent. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. 
I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Ah. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Okay, get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep cool and follow me, fellas. Never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Oh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zelotia. <laughs> now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I think you should leave, madam. I'm not leaving till I... Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Madam. Wait till Ooh, she's got him real dead. Darn like... Me? Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, go. hands go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get a word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, oh you think we're here? Open the goddamn vault! Oh, oh. Open it! Oh, oh. Too goddamn slow! How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Shut up, ah, bitch. Hurry up. Come on. Okay. himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. 
Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. It's taking too long. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. I'll keep a lookout at the door. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me?
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yeah. Easy. husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. already 
Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Well, I should get back to it. Yep, all right, I'll see ya. Let's go, boy. 